Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a ship with me video. I'm not sure how many sales I have. I want to say maybe 30 ish sales and 40 ish items. I, I haven't counted them. I probably should have, but it is quite a few. I do know that. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Her first sale is a two piece bundle. First off, we have this journey graphic t-shirt super thin stretchy comfy material it's a size large which was great i pick up pretty much any and all band t-shirts especially if you know it's like a popular band so this is the first item i haven't filmed a ship with me video in quite a while I took some time off of YouTube. Um, I was sick. I got sick just before Christmas. Terrible timing. <laughs> but I am fully back to normal now, thankfully. And then our second and last item in this bundle is, I thought I saw a hair, maybe not, is this pair of Puma velvet or not velvet puma uh suede <laughs> that's the word sneakers i actually got these um maybe a year ago in a jomar mystery box mystery shoe box i don't think i would have picked these up at goodwill mainly because i just don't ever really sell this brand puma um, and based on how they sold, I probably wouldn't pick them up again just because they did take a year to sell. I, I mean, I think they're cute and everything, but I just, you know, I like to move items quicker. So I have everything wrapped. I will add my thank you sticker now. I just keep a roll of these thank you stickers. Um, I, I pre-print out all of my labels before filming so that um, it's all ready to go. I print them on my Dymo 4XL. I know some people have issues with their Dymos. I've never had any issues with mine. I've had it for about two or three years now. Um, it really speeds things up compared to just a regular printer definitely a time saver there. All of these boxes and envelopes that I'll be using to ship the items in, I do order free from the USPS.com. I do have a list in the description of everything that I order. It comes straight to your door. Okay, so for this bundle, it's actually sold full price for $50. So each of these items, the shoes and the shirt, were, were listed at $25. So together they sold for 50. That made my earnings $40. I paid seven for both, $5 for the shoes via Jomar, $2 for the shirt. And so my net profit was $33. All right, next up we have this really cute sweater here. It's a graphic sweater that says love. And this is 100% cashmere, it's from Neiman Marcus, their like in-house line, size small. I got this at the Benz. I knew it would do pretty well because I pick up pretty much any cashmere. And on top of that, this had the really cute graphic. So I listed this around 45-ish. And I did get an offer of 30. I went ahead and accepted that, making my earnings $24. I probably paid about a dollar for it at the bins, very lightweight. And so my net profit was $23 on this sweater. If this were another brand, like maybe Lauren Moshi or um, any brand other than just like a, an in-house department store brand, I probably would have expected a little bit more. Um, even though Neiman Marcus cashmere sweaters can retail for like $250, I just don't think that, you know, people are really actively searching out um, department store house brands. But I could be wrong, who knows. 
Okay, next up we have this LuLaRoe, see a fuzz here, this LuLaRoe maxi dress. This is like a graphite wash. This thing is so long. It's a size medium. I actually got this dress in my thread up 100 pound bulk box buy. My main goal with listing this dress was to just recoup my cost because if you have, um, like I personally don't pick up LuLaRoe anymore. I just, for whatever reason, it just does not sell. I mean, I'm sure there are several reasons. I know there are several reasons why, but it does not sell well. This dress only sold for $14, um, which is kind of case in point, but I paid about $5 for each item, and so I made a, an actual profit of $6. So not only did I make my money back, but I made a profit of $6. And if you can just have the less substantial items or you know non brain brand name items in the bulk box not drive your cost of goods up by um you know selling <laughs> then you can make a higher profit on the nicer items i hope that makes sense i know that was super i confused myself but <laughs> Basically, you just don't want the kind of lesser items to drive up your cost of goods on the higher price items. So my aim with less substantial pieces and stuff is to at least make my money back so that they don't um, drive up the costs. So yeah, I made a $6 profit on that, which honestly I'm happy with. I don't pick up LuLaRoe pretty much ever. Okay. Next up, this was an excellent bins find. This is an Eileen Fisher scarf. So pretty. It's a neutral gray striped color. It's oversized. You could almost wear this as like a shawl. Oops. <laughs> Just throw it on the ground there. And it's made of alpaca and merino wool. Let me see. Here's the tag. Yeah, baby alpaca, merino wool, and nylon. Very soft and luxurious. This was probably about 150 retail. Um, Eileen Fisher's resale value is not the greatest, but the retail prices are insane. So I do still get it. The materials they use and the quality that they put into the items is top tier so I do still buy it and I believe I listed this scarf for around 75 ish my posture VA chrome extension sent out an offer for $68 with discounted shipping after someone liked the scarf so if you're new to my channel, I do have, I do use Posture VA. It's basically an automated system that is essentially my virtual assistant. It helps me share my items. I don't share my closet manually anymore. I just press a button on Posture VA and my closet is shared. They also send out offers to likers automatically 10 minutes after anyone likes my listing for 10% off plus a shipping discount. Um, you can change that to be whatever you want if you only want 5% off or whatever. And it usually results in, or not usually, but it oftentimes results in a sale. This time though, it did result in a counter offer. So someone received that offer that Posture VA sent and they counter offered me to 40 on this scarf. I did take that because I got this from the bins my earnings were $32 and so my net profit was right about $30. So once again, I am happy with that. I think that's a nice return. We have a BDG coverall shorts jumpsuit size large. This was a little bit of a newer piece from Urban Outfitters. Another bins pickup. And this was actually new at Tags when I found it, but it had a few just very small 
superficial spots and so I did take the tag off and wash it and I believe I uh, said all that in the listing. I just try to be as honest as possible when I'm listing anything about everything that's honesty is my policy or you know whatever that saying is and so I listed this for $31 Actually, I think I probably listed it at 35 and then closet dropped it down for closet clear out at some point. So it was currently listed at 31 when someone sent me an offer of 27. I thought that was a super fair offer. I did accept that. Making my earnings $21.60. My earnings are just what I make after Poshmark takes their 20% cut. So my earnings were $21.60. I paid about two for it at the bin, so my net profit was about $20 on this piece. That's definitely what I aim for with bins items. I like to have a $20 net profit. Okay, moving on, we have this pair of Urban Outfitters pants, more urban. <laughs> And these are also a newer piece. This is from their Urban Renewal line. I ordered these from the Thread Up outlet when I was sick at home. I just ordered, I think I ordered like 35 items from the Thread Up outlet. These were there. I saw that they were new attack, size large, and this looked like a really trendy uh, cut and style. They're high waisted with a Glen plaid print, tapered leg. So yeah, it looked really trendy, and with them being in new condition, I was pretty excited to find these on the website. I paid $6 for these, and they sold full price on Poshmark for $40, which I was ecstatic about. So that made my earnings $32 and my net profit $26. So for something that I ordered online, came straight to my home, I could not be happier about this sale. I I have kind of slowed down on ordering from ThreadUp's outlet just because I do have access to the Goodwill outlet where I find really amazing items for a cheaper price. But, you know, if I'm in a pinch, which I was, I was sick, um, I will peruse the website because you can find some pretty good stuff on there. If you're in a more rural area or you just don't have access to the Goodwill bins, um, I would suggest it as an avenue to look into to supplement your sourcing. Okay, next up, a two-piece bundle. This first item is flax. Really pretty piece here. It's 100% linen. It's like an oversized kind of blazer jacket, jack, shirt jacket type piece. And I actually picked this up from a consignment store. I just kind of popped into Crossroads and they had this priced at $22, but it was half off, so I only paid 11. I figured it would sell around that $50 mark and second piece in this bundle is this graphic sweater it was a collab with Madewell that is the graphic there um, it's apparently is a pretty popular French brand I hadn't heard of it they had this listed in their assorted brands category and I could obviously read the graphics so I googled it and figured the brand out myself saw that it was sold through Madewell as a collab and this sweatshirt in particular looked like it sold really well on the Poshmark app so I did go ahead and order this I paid $15 for it so when these two were bundled together the bundle price was $115 and someone offered me $97 which I did accept. I thought that was a really great offer. And it also, you know, I thought about what I invested into the two pieces and I thought that was still a nice profit margin for me. So 
My earnings were $77.60. I did pay, what did I say, 15 plus 11, so $26. And so my net profit was $51.60. So for just popping into Crossroads um, when I was over, you know, shopping, I, my boyfriend and I were shopping and we got lunch and um, I wanted to pop into Crossroads, so we did. I found two items and they basically just paid for our lunch. So I always like doing that. Um, I might have to switch. Let me switch this to my larger box here. So this is box number 1095. It's basically just for bigger bundles. And they are all self-sealing, which is really nice. It saves time because you don't have to tape up all the edges. You just peel the adhesive strip off and close it up. So yeah, $51.60 was my net profit. And, you know, the other sweatshirt was sent straight to my door. So I always am an advocate for working smarter, not harder. Okay, moving on. We have a three-piece bundle here. First item is, this is a vintage piece. The brand is All That Jazz, which I have sold a couple times in the past. Really cute, kind of bold sunflower print maxi dress. It crosses in back and so yeah, I knew this would sell quickly just because this kind of fun in your face graphic stuff from the 90s, especially in maxi lengths, uh, does great. So that's the first piece. Then we have, I think I might wrap, I'm going to wrap the next two together because they are both silk. Okay, so second item is this 100% silk animal print. It's like a leopard print maxi slip dress. Really pretty. Again, I knew this would sell really well because of the print. Slip dresses have been super popular with like Reformation, a lot of the nicer kind of trendier brands. And last piece is this again, 100% silk made well, little racer back tank top. Really pretty. And this, again, I grabbed it from the bins. It literally weighs next to nothing. So I might have paid 50 cents for it would be my guess. So I sent, the buyer bundled the three of these items and I sent her an offer of $65 with discounted shipping. She did go ahead and accept, making my earnings $49.54. I paid about $4 for everything, and so my net profit was right around $45. So I'll grab this $10.92 box I already made up. Definitely missed filming my Ship With Me videos. They keep me entertained while shipping. Whenever I don't film while shipping, I usually just listen to a murder podcast. Those are like my guilty pleasure. Moving on, I am going to have to run to the post office soon. Veronica Beard, very excited to see this on the rack at my family thrift center outlet. 100% silk, very, very pretty. Uh, self tie at the neck. It's a size four. Unfortunately, this did have just a little bit of discoloration to the underarms, um, just a tad. I did disclose that, of course, and I did price it for lower because of that. I think I listed it around 75 ish. I wasn't really sure what to expect with the flaw. Someone offered me 45. I went ahead and took that. I thought that was 
a pretty good offer. That made my earnings 36. I paid two and so my net profit was 34 on this top. So that just kind of goes to show you can still make a pretty decent profit if your cost of goods prices are low and the item is a higher end brand or just more substantial. There is still room for profit there. Don't totally discount items if they have a small flaw. I ran out of tape here. Okay. And our thank you sticker and our label. Alrighty. This is an exciting sale. So this is J. Jill it's pure jill by j jill and it's a size 4x it's like 93 percent linen top and i was pretty confident when i picked this up that it would sell quickly and then it did so that's always a really nice feeling this sold within an hour of being listed for full price of 35 dollars so that just kind of goes to show you guys do not underestimate more basic items that are larger sizes and natural fabrics people love their linen and jjill is a reputable brand i do kind of prefer their pure jill line because it does i think it is like made up of all natural fabrics like linen cotton um, cashmere whatnot so yeah, $35 on this. That made my earnings 28. I paid two, so my net profit was $26. I really like the kind of earth tone green to that. Okay, I think our last sale here before I run down to the post office is this two-piece bundle, Michael Stars. This is a tie-dye open front cardigan kimono type piece you can actually wear this as like a sarong like a little skirt or as a beach cover-up you could wear it as a scarf you could do a lot with this yeah so it's this and then a pair of shoes and this is actually also a full price sale so I've had some pretty good luck recently I definitely always do a little happy dance in my head whenever I get a full price sale. Second and final piece in this bundle is this pair of Sam Edelman little heeled booties. So yeah, sold full price for, there's one, there we go, $56. That made my earnings $44.80. I paid $3 for everything. So my net profit was $41.80. Very happy with that. I don't always pick up Michael Stars, but anything in that kimono slash open cardigan, lightweight kind of shawl thing, shawl cut style I will get no matter what brand even if it has no tags because the longer I resell the more I realize that people just like to layer they like coverage um, extra warmth so I sell a lot of cardigans scarves just layering items and so that's you know what I pick up now I'm always trying to cater to what um, people seem to want to buy. So um, if I try out, you know, selling scarves and I sell a ton of them, that's what I'm going to be picking up more of. So I'm a firm believer that reselling is you have to be adaptable <laughs> um, for sure. 
Okay, so I'm going to get these loaded up and take them down and then I will be back in just a bit. Alrighty, so I am back from the post office. It's actually quite a bit later now. It's 6.16. My post office closes at 4.30, so I usually drop them off and then that's like my second cup of coffee break. <laughs> so I'm refueled, ready to continue on. Okay, so our next sale is this pair of Ray, R-A-Y-E mules. They're like a pointed toe heeled mule. They do have a leather sole. Um, I think the upper is not leather, but the sole is leather. And these I also got in a Joe Mar mystery shoe box unboxing quite a long time ago. Sometimes it takes a while for the shoes to sell, but I don't really mind it too much. I usually, when I get shoe mystery boxes especially, a couple pairs will sell in the beginning and I will uh, be in the green for the box and then the rest of the shoes will just take their time and all in all, it's a pretty good profit. Usually I need to look into ordering another shoe mystery box because they really are fun to unbox. And I always do end up making, I would say two to $300 profit off each box. I also do make revenue from, you know, filming the unboxing. So that is partly why it's, super worth it for me. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I'd probably be a little bit more hesitant about ordering the boxes, but the biggest reason that I like them is because I love surprises and it switches up the content on my channel. So, you know, that's a little insight into that. Okay. So these shoes, I listed at $45 and I got an offer yesterday, which was probably about six months after they were listed for 30. I did accept that making my earnings $24. I paid $5 for each pair of shoes in the box. And so my net profit was $19, which is great. I didn't have to go out and source those, drive around, anything like that. Okay. I'm missing, where is my, oh, here it is. Just a little out of order there. Oh, you know what? I need to get let me go run grab a big box really quick. Okay, I'm down to my last few box number sevens. I have ordered more um, and they should be here any day. So I will keep my fingers crossed on that. I think I mentioned it. Did I just mention this is box number seven? again for you from the USPS and I order it to box up my larger my largest items that I'm shipping usually like knee-high boots or large jackets like this one so this is the jacket that was sold really pretty I ordered this from ThreadUp's assorted brands categories. So basically just items that are sent in to thread up, but they can't read the tag or they just don't know what brand it is. They will shove it into the assorted brands category. And I will go on there, look through, find items that look really nice, order them. And then when they come in, I'm hoping that they are designer brands. And I, I've had some really good luck with it. I ordered a pair of Guidi boots. One time I paid $27 on a thread up. They came in and I listed them for $275 or sorry, I sold them for $275. So that was my best flip to date with the assorted brand stuff. I am going to have a video very soon showing everything that I ordered. This jacket will be featured. It's the brand is Epoca the shop E P O C A. I, it seems like it's a Japanese luxury brand, but I mainly ordered it because it looked like real leather, which I do believe that it is. I believe this is 
genuine lamb leather exterior. I can't say for sure though because I can't read any of the tags. So I just listed it exactly like that. That's what I said. I believe it's lamb leather exterior, but I can't say for sure. The fur interior does feel like a faux fur. So again, I just uh, described that to the best of my ability. And I listed this at $65. I got an offer of $35 and I went ahead and accepted that because I really don't know what that jacket is about. Whoops, I need to add the label. I don't know the brand. I'm not sure of I'm not sure of the material. Uh, the sizing is kind of wonky. So I just took the $35 offer that made my earnings $28. I actually spent $21 on thread up for it. So I made a net profit of $7. Definitely not my best flip, but I'm just happy that I made a profit on it. Um, I was actually going to return it because I had no idea really how to list it but the return window closed, so I just went ahead and listed it. I'm happy with how it worked out. Um, the other items that I ordered from the assorted brands, I was super happy with how they, how they resold though. So again, I will have that video coming out very soon. Okay, next we have Peruvian Connection. Really pretty, this was a very recent upload. I think this sold same day of being listed. I do love finding and selling this brand Peruvian Connection. It is some of the highest quality stuff out there. The sweater is, I think it's like 80% baby alpaca, very soft and luxurious. It has thumb holes, which very cozy. It's kind of a semi-cropped length, so you could wear it over a dress. That was how they styled it in a stock photo and it looks super cute. So I listed this for $55. I got an offer same day of 25, which I messaged with the buyer and just kind of explained to her, you know, thank you for your offer, but I only listed this today. And so I can't go, you know, I can't take $25. Uh, you know, that you offered. And we just kind of chatted a little bit and she said, okay, well, what's your lowest? Or maybe I just told her my lowest. I said, because it's only been listed a day, it's a great fabric, baby alpaca. My lowest on this currently is $40. And so she ended up, she said, well, can you just counter with that and I'll think on it. And then she ended up accepting it. So that was nice. That made my earnings $32. I paid two and so my net profit was $30. So I think it's always good to, you know, just let people know what your lowest is. And I was comfortable holding firm because like I said, that, that sweater probably retailed for 150 to 180 ish. It's very high quality and it, it's in excellent condition. Okay. Next we have an ALC dress and this is a maxi gown length white dress. It's, uh, let's see, what is the fabric content? It is 90% viscose and 10% cashmere. So it definitely has that kind of luxurious feel to it. Really pretty, it's like ruched in front. So it's definitely flattering. It has a little bit of a side slit. I don't know how to fold this. Folding extremely long dresses is not my um, forte, I guess you'd say. So this ALC sometimes, or most times I think, prints the year of the item on the actual tag. And this was from 2011. This dress is a trooper. Let me tell you, this was at the bins. It's all white or white or creamish colored. It's got that cashmere. Cashmere is susceptible to holes. 
white colored items obviously susceptible to stains this dress was flawless it must have never been worn i was shocked so that's always um it just feels like a miracle when you find a piece like this that's in excellent condition i listed this for 65 dollars. it probably originally retailed for about three to four hundred dollars would be my guess if it were 2015 and newer i probably would have listed it around 100 maybe a little bit over 100 but because it is a little bit older i did list it at 65. i got an offer same day of listing for 35 i countered to 40 that was accepted and so my earnings were 32 and my net profit was 30 dollars Okay, next up, we have some Eileen Fisher pants. I think I talked earlier in the video about how Eileen Fisher retail is crazy high, but the resale value is just definitely not uh, on the same kind of par as the retail value. So these pants probably retail for about 150 to 180 ish would be my guess. They're these army green linen lyocell blend pants in a size large and i listed these at 50 dollars i got an offer for 25 which i did we countered to 30 or she countered i can't remember i think i guess yeah i countered to 30 that was accepted and so my earnings were 24 and my net profit was 22. I always get so excited when I find Eileen Fisher um, when I'm out and about, but for whatever reason, the resale value is just not, it's very much so lacking <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, these are probably listed for a couple months, maybe. I, I think if you find like cashmere or alpaca, that for sure uh, holds its value a little bit more or maybe like plus size more substantial pieces but um, the more basic kind of casual stuff just doesn't sell as well as you would think it would unfortunately okay next we have anthropology adorable floral print shirt dress it's like a split neck very boho and this i listed at 35 dollars and my posture va someone liked the dress they physically pressed the like button and so that is my posture va's cue to send them an offer of $31 with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $22.34 and my net profit $20. I did grab this from the bins as well. So, pretty quick sale here, I would say. When did I list this? I have no idea. Everything has begun to just blur together. I've been trying to list a ton and so everything blurs together at this point but it definitely wasn't more than like two weeks being listed okay this is an exciting sale for me so this was yet another assorted brands find on thread up and i ordered it because of the print mainly it's like a zebra lemur novelty print which novelty prints always sell so well for me it also was a hundred percent linen which is a nicer quality fabric so i knew it was probably a pretty good brand um, you're not you don't typically see boutique brands or lower end brands making really fun novelty prints out of uh, higher end fabrics like linen and stuff like that so uh, the brand ended up being, I will put it on the screen, I'm not entirely sure how to say it, which when I first ordered it, 
Um, I wasn't, I was only researching the first half of the brand, the NACH part, and not the full brand. And so I thought that it wasn't very expensive, but turns out this brand is very expensive. They do a lot of fun, like whimsical prints uh, and animal kind of stuff, very similar to this. And so I ended up listing it for $65. And my Posture VA, once again, sent out an offer to someone for $58, which is kind of shipping, and that was accepted. So I was very happy to see that. That made my earnings $43.94. I did pay $17 for it on ThreadUp, just because I was pretty confident that it would be, you know, a good brand and even if it wasn't I thought that it had enough going for it to sell well you know the print the fabric and whatnot so my net profit on this dress was $26.79 I think that's awesome for something that I ordered online um, every time I order from Red Up's assorted brands, I always kind of second guess myself, but then they ended up they end up selling, and I'm always really happy with the profit. So I think I need to spend a little more time on that. Let me know if you guys are more interested in that, and I can film some more content surrounding that. So next up, we have this adorable um, sweater. It's a mohair sweater. I'll put the brand on the screen it's a french brand someone uh typed out how to say it in my comments section on my haul video so thank you for that i did i did look at it um, and i pronounced it earlier out loud while i read the comment but i forget now um so i listed this at 85 dollars. it's a very expensive brand this i i don't know how much it retailed for but in the hundreds i would guess um, probably around 150-ish would be the guess off the top of my head. I saw a sweater exactly like this sold for 85 on Poshmark, so that's what I listed mine for. And someone, again, someone liked the sweater. My Posture VA sent them out an offer of $75 with discounted shipping, and they did counter that offer to 58 which I accepted making my earnings $46.40 and my net profit $44.40. So even if, you know, Posture VA sends out an offer and it's not accepted, sometimes, you know, it's just kind of getting the ball rolling, like the negotiating process. Someone seeing that, you know, I'm active, I'm sending them an offer, only 10 minutes after they liked it so clearly i'm online i'm an active closet and it shows that i'm open to negotiation i'm open to taking offers and so um you know it just kind of i think initiates a negotiating process i guess you'd say all righty next we have a bundle of two target bras it's just from target's athletic line all in motion i found two of these at the bins right next to each other they were both a size extra extra large and they were both in excellent shape and so i just threw them in my cart i probably paid about a dollar for both of them they're very lightweight and they were in an older bin so they were probably not going to be picked up by anyone else I listed them for 18, got an offer for 15. I did accept that. My earnings were 12 and my net profit was around $11. Super easy to list, super fast. And that's a quick $11. Everything adds up for sure. If these were a size extra small, I probably wouldn't have gotten them uh, just because Larger sizes are more popular. Uh, 
I think the average size woman in America is like a size 14. So, but you don't see a lot of uh, plus size cute clothing out and about. So I do try to pick it up when I find it because, you know, I think it's important to cater to every size. Okay, next up we have soft surroundings. Really pretty tunic top. It's like a buffalo green check pattern. And I mentioned it in the haul video. I don't like to buy size small or extra small and soft surroundings, but this piece was just so substantial and it looked brand new that I was not leaving it for $2 and it sold same day of being listed. So very happy with this. I listed it for 38. I got an offer of 25. I did counter that to 28 and that was accepted, which made my earnings $22.40. I paid two for it, and so my net profit was $20.40. Some of you guys were saying that you don't get how I sell soft surroundings so much. I am very selective with it. Like I said, I will only pick up certain sizes, generally size large. Um, I know that's funny, I was just talking about picking up all sizes, but in soft surroundings, I have tried to sell size extra small and small, and it just sits forever for me. That's what I've noticed. And so now I will only pick up um, medium to large unless there is an exception like this where it's a very substantial piece that um, looks brand new, has a lot going for it. The seasonality was there. There's an exception for everything, um, but generally I do like to get larger pieces. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, and I also am selective with the styles from Soft Surroundings. It has to be boho, has a fun kind of classic print to it or a nice texture. It has to have quite a bit going for it for me to pick it up. Alrighty, moving on, we have BDG romper like a charcoal gray romper size extra small super cute these kind of one piece jumpsuits and rompers from urban outfitters sell great for me i think i had one earlier in the day a white one that sold for like 27 dollars i think i want to say and this one sold for 28 so that just kind of goes to show you Anything over $25, I consider a pretty decent sale. So, yeah, I had this listed at $35. I got an offer for $28. I did accept that. My earnings were $22.40, and I only paid a couple dollars for this at the Goodwill Outlet. So, happy with this sale. I feel like I am really rambling tonight for whatever reason. This video is probably, I'm scared to figure out how long this video is. Okay. J. Crew Blazer. This is an essential white 100% linen blazer from J. Crew size 8. J. Crew Blazers sell very well, especially if they are a little bit more current and they have a good fabric makeup. Let me see. This one is from spring of 2015. So not super current, but it looks brand new. It was actually in a bin next to a J. Crew blazer that had the tags still attached. So I could tell that someone just kind of purchased some J. Crew pieces and didn't wear them. It's kind of funny when you're shopping at the bins and you, it's very obvious when there's a cluster of clothing items that were all donated by the same person. And generally they all kind of have a pattern to them, not only like style and stuff like that, but also like how well they were taken care of. 
and it seriously just makes my whole day when I stumble into a cluster of not only cute or nice substantial pieces, but also all very well taken care of. That seriously just, I can't even put into words how uh, nice that is because some people, you know, it's, it's always just kind of heartbreaking when you find great stuff, but you can tell that it was, it's like merino wool and it was thrown into the dryer or whatever, but um, you know, when you find someone's donations and they were definitely uh, going to the dry cleaner, they did their weekly dry cleaner run, that's always very nice. So thank you for all of you people out there who regularly go to the dry cleaner. <laughs> okay, so for this blazer by Posher VA sent out an offer of $40 with discounted shipping. That was accepted. My earnings were $29.54 and my net profit was $27.54. Next up, we have a bundle. First item is this Neiman Marcus cashmere. It's 100% cashmere. It's like a layered look cardigan. So it looks like you have a tan cardigan underneath the gray one, but you don't. It's just like a built-in extra lapel there. So very luxurious. Did I say this is Neiman Marcus house brand cashmere? Second item is, actually I think I will wrap those two together. I don't typically like to wrap, I like to wrap cashmere merino wool separately just because it's prone to pilling. I don't think, you know, you would get pilling during transport, but it's better safe than sorry. You don't want um, to take any chances. Okay, second piece is this Banana Republic jumpsuit. It's like a neutral jumpsuit. This was yet another item ordered from ThreadUp's online outlet while I was taking some time off. So I got this because it's it was a super substantial piece in my opinion. It's a linen blend, a high-waisted, wide leg, and anything in a jumpsuit cut is automatically more substantial than, you know, versus like a mini dress or whatever. So that's the second piece. And then third and final item is this Zara plaid boxy blouse with elastic at the wrist cuff. Super cute. This was a Ben's grab. And the bu buyer bundled <laughs> the three of these. I sent her an offer of $85 with free shipping that was accepted, making my earnings $60.55. I paid about 10 for everything. I did pay six for the jumpsuit from ThreadUp. And so my net profit was right around $50 on this bundle. I will put these in my 10.95 box. Alrighty. Moving on, we have yet another bundle. First off is this vintage burnt orange velvet collared mini dress. The brand is California Gold Rush. I knew it was vintage just based on the look of the tag. It also has a paper material tag and paper tags usually indicate that it is an older item. Um, not always, but generally speaking. Second and last bundle piece is this H&M blouse. This was another Ben's grab and I got it because it's a size extra large. It's a linen blend, really cute cut and a fun tropical print. So this had quite a bit going for it. I offered the buyer 
$35 on this and that was accepted. This is a super cute bundle as well. I guess I'm kind of biased because I picked the items out, but I don't know. Sometimes I just look at what people bundle and I'm like, so cute. So yeah, I sent her a $35 offer that was accepted. My earnings were 28. I paid about $3 for everything. That H&M top was super light. And so my net profit was $25. Okay, so the last sale in our women's closet. I uh, accepted this offer while I was having my snack a little bit ago. So this brand is Promisa, which I think is just like a boutique brand, but I got this dress for several reasons. First off, it is a genuine wrap dress, which definitely do better for me than like a faux wrap dress or just like a crossover kind of front. And it also is a midi or maxi length, I forget now. It's a high-low hemline, it has like ruffled sleeves. Uh, it's a natural fabric, 95% cotton with a little bit of spandex for some stretch, size large, and it was in excellent condition. So this had so much going for it. I got it from the bins, probably paid a dollar, possibly a dollar fifty. And yeah, I'm I'm not afraid to pick up based on style. It's I listed it at $28 and it ended up selling for $16, which is not a huge amount, but again, everything adds up. So my earnings were $12.80 and my net profit was about $12. So very happy with this. Um, you know, sometimes it's a slow day at the bins and I'm not really finding anything. So I have to get creative and start uh, really putting my uh, finding goggles on and think outside the box, look for style, just really search out those sellable features on brands that might, or pieces that might not be so obviously sellable. So I hope that makes sense. Okay. Our very last sale to pack up tonight is from my men's closet. And it is just a J. Crew button down shirt. It's a plaid print. I got this because I think it was a newer piece. Everyone loves J. Crew. Uh, yeah, this is from fall of 2020. So I got this as just kind of like a, again, you know, just. A bundle piece something to list and it ended up selling for $15 so not a huge return but yet again everything adds up if I would have left both of these last two items behind I would be missing out on what did I say my net profit was like $12 plus $11, so $23. I would just be leaving $23 behind in the bin. And these were also in older bins. So no one was buying them. They were probably going to go off to the landfill. Um, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone there, giving them a new home as well as making a quick profit. So that is absolutely everything for this ship with me video i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully it wasn't too long i'll have to figure it out while editing um, i am trying to get back on a consistent uploading schedule so if you enjoyed this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe it really does help out my channel when you guys subscribe and um, leave me comments i'm always Super excited to read your comments. I know I don't respond to every single one. I try my best, but I do read each and every comment that I get. It's always really fun to hear what you guys have to say. So I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.